Good morning, everybody. I can't talk right now, I need my coffee. But um, we just got all of our Amazon Fresh stuff. And um, Garrett's been ordering Amazon Fresh. So if anybody's interested in Amazon Fresh, it's like the bomb, like they literally uh, deliver groceries right to your store and it's like probably even cheaper than the normal grocery store because um, Garrett's like an Amazon Prime uh, account holder but because um, he spends so much a month or whatever anyway Amazon is not sponsoring us which I wish they would but <laughs> Amazon Fresh is amazing uh, Maggie and this is Garrett's okay. new caretaker and she comes over like five days a week and she's been over for like a few days so she's helping put away the groceries she comes over for a few minutes in the morning, or not a few minutes, a few hours in the morning, and stretches Garrett and stuff, because Chucky is still staying on for two days a week, and then Maggie has five days a week, so. Maggie, you're Thursday through? No, it's Sunday through Wednesday. Sunday through Wednesday, and Chuck is Thursday and Friday. But today, I think I'm gonna go get a workout in, and then I am also, um, Probably gonna head to Santa Monica with Gigi. I have to go pick up a shipment for my own boutique downtown LA. Um, and I think he has to go meet up with the builders because his flooring comes in for the gym today. So we're gonna head to Santa Monica in a little bit after I work out, have breakfast, and answer emails. What is up everybody? Welcome to today's workout. Today I am starting off with Around the Worlds. This is normally um, what I do for warming up my shoulders. And you can see that I'm actually in my complex gym. It is a pretty good gym, but I was getting so harassed at 24 Hour Fitness that I said, Carla, let's just film in my gym today. So that is why I'm in my gym. I'm also limited to certain machines. So I did, um, you know, I did the best that I could with what I have in my gym, which I can get a really good workout in, um, in my home gym. I'm starting off with the dumbbell shoulder press. This is my go-to. I normally start off with this exercise and I move up in weight, normally to about 25 pound dumbbells. I'm doing about four to five sets uh, per exercise and I'm also doing supersets today. Also, I do apologize about any background noise. Sometimes when I'm on the go, I can't um, get in a quiet area. So I am doing this voiceover for you guys. And I hope you guys don't mind the background noise. Um, I am also um, doing a face pull, but I'm doing it on an incline bench. So I superset it into this. I am trying to work more on my rear delts. So you'll see that I'll do a a shoulder workout then I'll go into a rear delt which is the back of my shoulders um, and this is like one of my favorite body parts to actually work out is shoulders so I definitely make sure that I hit every part of the muscle but more focusing on um, a rear delt so this is a face pull you'll normally see people doing this either bent down or um, standing up And I'm going into a dumbbell shoulder front raise. I call these hold sets. So you're gonna go, oh, you're gonna hold it uh, for five reps on each side and you're gonna work your way down four, three, two, one. And then I do alternating um, six, six to eight reps when I'm done. This is a real, real burner. I would recommend starting off with five pounds. I think I'm working my way up to seven and a half pound dumbbells here, but this is way harder than it looks. So don't be intimidated. And if you feel really like you're not doing good in the gym doing this, don't be embarrassed or anything. Everybody struggles with this exercise. Um, there's different ways to do this exercise, but this is the way I'm doing it today. Normally I just do the alternating dumbbell uh, front raise, but I decided to do hold sets and and that for sure fatigues um, your muscle. And I honestly love this exercise. It's one of my new favorites with the holding. And I am going to superset into a um, kneeled down um, 
cable rear delt pull. Sometimes I don't even know what they're called. This is just a variation. So this is basically like a pec deck reverse, but it's with a cable and it's an isolation movement, meaning it's just one side. Um, so I'm doing 12 to 15 reps. Like I said, I record on my fourth or fifth set. So right now I'm already burned out. I'm dying. Um, and I'm on my heaviest weight that I start with. So this is a great exercise. I love this exercise for rear delts, especially um, when you're working on your rear delts. You want to make sure that you get a couple isolation moves in there, um, meaning, you know, you're just focusing on one side at a time. I always mix that in there too. I don't always do two-handed everything at the same time. I normally um, will focus on one side at a time. So you want to go all the way across, making sure that you're getting a good stretch in. And then you're going to try to hold it at the end for about a second. I didn't do that at the end. I was kind of maxing out right there. And I'm going into um, a single arm cable raise. So for this one, I'm kind of going, you'll see that I go front raise, side raise, and then a little bit, um, a little bit further back. But I don't reach two back, so it's a three point shoulder raise. Sometimes while I'm working out, I'll feel the movement too. So, meaning like I'll change like halfway through my exercise sometimes. Like you'll see, like here, you could see it more. Three point shoulder raise. I love this exercise, it's seriously one of my favorites. Really burns out the shoulders. And honestly, I always say 12 to 15 reps, but I normally go to failure um, most of my sets. I don't count and be like, okay, so I'm on my 12th or 15th rep and that's it because I'm counting. I go until it's I'm in a lot of pain or I'm going to failure for sure. So I'm going to actually finish off with this exercise. And um, I'm starting with uh, my my thumbs pointed in and then you'll see at the very top I'll twist my thumbs pointed um, they'll end up on the top and you can see I do that twist at the top these are freaking hardcore killer I seen these performed um, on YouTube but I never tried them because they kind of looked intimidating the movement this is my third set and it took me a minute to get it down so don't be intimidated um, definitely give it a try and if you don't um, if it doesn't work the first time, just keep trying. It took me a while. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. I'm running out of time. I will talk to you guys on the next one. What's up, everybody? We are, well, Garrett is driving, and we are going to Santa Monica, and then I'm going to head to downtown LA to pick up a few things. What can we talk about? Garrett's driving. He is an aggressive driver, I am not going to lie, and he is, whoa. See, I caught that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it's because the brakes fall, but I swear he's he's. A, no, I am aggressive. I don't know if I feel safe, honestly. Chicken 
and brown rice. And then I just finished a string cheese. Yes, real MVP. I'm gonna have my water. So we came all the way to Santa Monica because Garrett swore he had this like super important package and it ended up being our Hendry's because we became a member at Hendry's Winery and that's one of our favorite wines right now so we just got a package for like five wines but See, that was the most a very I mean, important package I mean it was pretty important but still like I thought it was supposed to be like some he thought it was something else so whatever and we're not gonna end up I'm going downtown LA this. because no that is actually my apple juice <laughs> he's drinking all my apple juice really there's a bunch in the house for you. Oh, so the ones in the house are for me. No, because I just grabbed this one. Mmm. Mmm. These are the best. So, we're not going to end up going downtown LA either because we're about to fight traffic right now because it's 5 o'clock traffic jam and we're not about to make it home whatsoever. It'll take us like two hours to make it home and it's normally like a 45 minute, 45 minute drive to my house. So. We're gonna hang out in Santa Monica because, as you guys know, I am definitely leaning towards moving in with Garrett in the next- Leaning towards. Leaning, whatever. He always likes to correct me. Shut up. I'm not correcting you. You just corrected me. No, I didn't. You said that you're leaning towards it and I was pointing out that you were said leaning towards, not that you're going to or not going to. Oh, okay. Whatever, you always correct me because Mr. Smarty Pants over here. But anyway, Garrett's beautiful gates that it got put back here. Anyway, but um, we are gonna go ex kind of explore Santa Monica. There's like this really good uh, restaurant that we've ate at one time before when we first came and checked out the house. So I think we're gonna go eat there real quick and then we're gonna go watch a movie but, um, to beat the traffic. But also, um, we're gonna go drive around Santa Monica because I've only probably driven around Santa Monica like a total of like a handful of times. So I kind of just wanna get more of a feel um, what Santa Monica has to offer because I'm actually I actually came here this time and I really looked at the house because I'm like this is where I'm gonna live and um, in like six weeks and I have to put in like my 30 days in like two weeks so that's kind of nerve-wracking because I've been in my house for two years and it's like a exciting but kind of sad and just all kinds of emotions I don't know if I can handle living with this guy 24-7. I mean, he has already moved into my house, basically. So, I think we'll be okay. Um, so, we're going to go explore Santa Monica a little bit. And I'll kind of vlog a little bit for you guys. Do you have anything to say? Don't even say it. <laughs> don't even say it. Um, how much do you guys dare me to just pound the rest of this apple juice? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> No more am I ever letting you hold anything. <laughs> mm. Come here.
he never waits for me. <laughs> Mm. Hey, did you see my favorite store? Go, run, hurry, hurry, go, go in the elevator, Frank, go over there. Look, oh, so beautiful. <sighs> Come back to me. Come back. Terrible. Come back. Terrible. <laughs> what are we gonna watch? What are we watching? wheelchair on me. So. This one, right? Which one do you want? Oh, we, why don't we take the two middle? Oh no, those are seats, right? Yeah, it says wheelchair and then companion. Oh, the dark ones are wheelchair, so we take D and C. Hey, what are we gonna watch? Gigi. What Gigi. We're gonna watch Calm. Yes. Getting our norm. I got an IPA. What'd you get, Gigi? Yeah, Plus Ronnie Shankar. We're gonna see calm. <laughs> Yummy. I'm gonna make sure. Gonna make sure this is not poison. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's your own beer. You can't use that thing when it's your own beer. Beer games. Yes, I can. Uh-uh. Yes, I can. I can make sure that my own stuff's not poison. So I have to say something real quick just so it's just random but it's like a Mexican thing because Garrett was talking to my assistant Carla today and he said she uh because Bonsai gets really nervous when somebody watches him go poo. I'll make this real quick. And so she said yeah you're never supposed to my mom told me you're never supposed to stare at a dog go poo because you'll get a sty in your eye. Before he finished the sentence I said it's because you'll get a sty in your eye. She said un grano. She goes, what is it called? You'll get a... a yeah, because she's bilingual Ronald? though. I think her first language is Spanish. Carla is my assistant, but um, is that a Mexican like... thing, you guys? Because I remember growing up as a kid, I would never ever watch dogs go poo. But it's funny, I was able to finish your sentence because he thought that was really weird that Carla said that. And then I finished the sentence, I'm like, no, that's like a Mexican thing, obviously. She did say but it I was just like remembered. A, like a Mexican like wives tale, maybe though, so. So does any other Mexican families out there, did you guys ever get told that as a child? Let me know, because I swear, I just remember that right now when Garrett was telling me. Anyway, off to see King Kong That's after I finish so. my non-poison beer. So we're going to our favorite restaurant, well, Garrett's. It's called Misfit. It sucked, right? We think the Kong movie sucked. It was really, really bad. Every moment we're just like, oh, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. So we're gonna go have dinner right now, but the movie wasn't like great, don't recommend it.